In 2004, JR Kyushu's Kyushu Shinkansen line partially opened between Kumamoto and Kagoshima prefectures. Accordingly, Hisatsu Orange Railway opened on the parallel conventional line that connects the two prefectures. Parallel conventional lines are lines that operate alongside Shinkansen lines. When a Shinkansen line starts service, the existing conventional line sometimes separates from JR, and a third sector railway company, mainly funded by the local government, takes over the operation. Since tourists and business travelers prefer the Shinkansen, most parallel conventional line users are residents who live along the lines. The introduction of the Shinkansen to an area often causes conventional line passenger numbers to drop, making business difficult. In order to maintain these struggling third sector railways, local governments generally have to provide support. In the case of Kagoshima Prefecture, only three cities are serviced by Hisatsu Orange Railway. However, all 43 municipalities in the prefecture are providing support to protect this regional transportation system. In today's program, we'll be taking a look at Hisatsu Orange Railway, which runs through Kagoshima Prefecture. Hisatsu Orange Railway is a third sector railway company located in the Kyushu region of western Japan that connects Kumamoto and Kagoshima prefectures. There are 28 stations on the approximately 117 kilometer line. The word Hisatsu in the railway's name is an old word for both Kumamoto and Kagoshima prefectures. Orange comes from the many citrus trees that grow along the line. Hisatsu Orange Railway has two main sources of income. Passenger fares bring in about 250 million yen per year, but that number is decreasing as each passing year sees the population along the line decline even further. When it first opened in 2004, the railway had approximately 1.9 million passengers. But since 2020 and the pandemic, that number has dropped to less than 1 million. Another main source of income comes from track access charges for freight trains operations. The company receives approximately 1.2 billion yen from JR Freight annually, making it the railway's largest source of income. Even so, Hisatsu Orange Railway's financials for 2021 show a deficit of approximately 550 million yen. In fact, the company has posted a loss every year for the 19 years it's been in operation. あの、設立当初からやはりそういった形で財来線の方の運営が厳しいことで、あの、分離、え、経営されたところでございますので、え、そういった点から言ってなかなか経営的に厳しいというのもございますし、え、当然あの、もう会社設立から20年近くなります
Because of the four high schools in the city, support for the Hisatsu Orange Railway has continued as it's an essential mode of transportation for the students commuting to and from school. ま、because of this, a total of around 800 million yen in subsidies is paid to Hisatsu Orange Railway each year from both Kumamoto and Kagoshima prefectures, as well as local governments along the line. In addition, in Kagoshima Prefecture, all municipalities, including those not serviced by the railway, have joined together to create a support framework for the railway. That support comes in the way of subsidies managed by the Kagoshima Municipal Development Corporation. Funded by the proceeds of lottery ticket sales, the funds belong to the combined municipalities of Kagoshima Prefecture. To be eligible for subsidies, the recipient must provide services that benefit all of the municipalities. In 2013, Kagoshima Prefecture consulted with each municipality to receive a subsidy from the foundation based on the benefits provided by the freight trains that use the railway. Freight trains from Honshu, Japan's main island, enter Kagoshima Prefecture via Yatsushiro Station in Kumamoto Prefecture on the Hisatsu Orange Railway Line. Freight coming into Kagoshima Prefecture mainly consists of TV and online shopping items and industrial products, while outbound freight is mostly made up of agricultural and paper products. Although only three cities in Kagoshima Prefecture are serviced by the Hisatsu Orange Railway, a prefecture-wide support framework was created, considering the entire prefecture benefits from the line's freight transportation. The subsidy is used to pay for the maintenance of facilities, such as tracks and overhead wires associated with freight train operations. This support, which was to be provided for a 10-year period starting in 2013, totals more than 1 billion yen. Hisatsu Orange Railway's facilities and rolling stock, which were inherited from JR, are aging, and maintenance costs are skyrocketing. The prefecture-wide support framework, with all municipalities contributing, is indispensable. やっぱり当社運営のためには本当にあの重要な補助金という形になっておりますので、当社に取りましてもそれがもしなくなるという話になれば非常に厳しい状況になるのかなというふうに考えております。Yes, you would think that the locals were excited and happy to welcome in a new Shinkansen line, but there is always the problem how to maintain the conventional lines that run parallel to the strong and fast Shinkansen. Yes, indeed. And this is the problem common to all Shinkansen lines that have opened recently and their parallel conventional lines. You know, once the Shinkansen lines open, most of the intercity passengers would shift from the conventional line trains to the Shinkansen trains, and that would mean significantly reduced ridership on the conventional lines.
Mm. It's quite unique that in Kagoshima Prefecture, even areas that are not directly connected or serviced by Hisatsu Orange Railway are supporting it at this point in time. Yes, indeed. But, you know, um, the subsidy uh, in the current framework would finish in the fiscal year 2023. And now uh, the discussion is underway uh, what to do uh, from the year 2024. Um, I think that uh, Hisatsu Orange Railway is expecting that uh, the subsidy will continue and uh, I myself would hope so too. I hope so too. I mean, it is a beautiful area. Kagoshima Prefecture has so much to offer. It's also a great area for maybe tourists to come and enjoy, right? Yes, indeed. And also, uh, there are some regions uh, that are not covered by the new Shinkansen line. And for them, I think maintaining the passenger service on the Hisatsu Orange Railway would be important. And if uh, those uh, tourist trains can help maintaining the passenger service on the Hisatsu Orange Railway, and that would be the very good news for them as well. And so, great passenger service and getting the tourists to come. Let's have a look at Hisatsu Orange Railway's tourist train that has been running for over 10 years. This tourist train is Hisatsu Orange Railway's Orange Restaurant. As the name suggests, it's a restaurant train. In 2013, Hisatsu Orange Railway launched various initiatives in an effort to turn the railway business around. One of the main initiatives was the introduction of a new tourist train. At the time, the government was promoting ecotourism. As part of that promotion, the company received around 50 million yen to debut the new train. The two-car orange restaurant is a refurbished diesel train. The exterior is dark ocean blue. The logo and accents are gold. The concept behind the train is good food and easy living. Offering a monthly menu that focuses on locally produced seasonal ingredients, Orange Restaurant was the forerunner of restaurant trains nationwide. The train can seat 43 passengers. The interior was designed to resemble a hotel cafe, with timber floors, window frames and tables, etc., as well as spacious seating. Car 1 has counter seats that face the ocean, as well as tables on the mountainside. And here is the kitchen space where the meals are prepared. Car 2 has two-person tables on the ocean side and ocean-facing sofa seats on the mountainside. Orange Restaurant quickly became a popular tourist attraction, with more than 10,000 people coming to enjoy the restaurant experience every year. However, in recent years, that number dropped to less than one-third due to the pandemic. The company has renewed travel brochures advertising the attractions along the line. And in the future, the company will use social media to bring those numbers back. あの、収入 It's 7 a.m. At the station where the train depot is located, the staff get ready for the lunch course. 
The pre-cooked food is prepared by a local restaurant and brought to the station. The food, tableware and drinks are all loaded onto the train by the staff. Today, we are boarding the lunch course train at Shin Yatsushiro Station, a stop on the Shinkansen line in Kumamoto Prefecture. At the ticket gate, a welcome board handmade by the staff greets the passengers. <laughs> At 10.40 a.m., the train departs Shin Yatsushiro Station. Passengers can look forward to a variety of treats throughout the journey. The train departs Shin Yatsushiro Station and arrives at Hinagu Onsen Station approximately 20 minutes later. The train stops here for 15 minutes. Here, the passengers are served chikua, a local specialty, with tea. Chikua is a kind of tubular fish cake that can be eaten as is or lightly roasted to give it a savory aroma. At this station, local treats are prepared as souvenirs. At four stations along the way, Orange Restaurant's passengers receive tea service and gifts of local products. As lunchtime approaches, the meal is prepared in the Car One kitchen space. Today's menu is French cuisine produced by a chef from a local restaurant. The course meal features ingredients from Kumamoto and Kagoshima prefectures. During lunch, the train leaves Kumamoto prefecture and enters Kagoshima. Soon after, people can be seen waving by the tracks. Local supporters welcome passengers by dressing up in costumes, waving orange towels, and holding banners. This friendly welcome began with just one family five years before. Now seven families come to greet the train every Sunday.地元で頑張ってる人たちだったり、え、よそから、え、私たちの町に来てくださる方が元気になってくれればいいなと思って、はい、ちょっと始めてみました。乗車されてるお客様から、あの、反応があるとこちらもなんて言うんですか、こう、
The operation of Orange Restaurant is also helping to revitalize the local community. The scenery is another feature of the Orange Restaurant's train. Departing Akune Station, the train offers spectacular views as it runs along the coast. At selected viewpoints along the way, the train stops for two minutes and an attendant talks about the islands and reefs visible from the window. The next stop is Satsumataki Station. The train stops here for about 20 minutes. Getting off at the platform, an attendant guides the passengers down a path through some trees to what appears to be a private beach. This area used to be deserted but the railway's employees made improvements in an effort to make the area a tourist attraction for Orange Restaurant. In the winter of 2013, the employees used their free time to work on the project. They mowed the grass and used old railway sleepers to build a boardwalk and observation deck. And on the beach, they placed a bell said to bring happiness. At 2.46 p.m., Orange Restaurant arrives at its final destination, Sendai Station. The four-hour restaurant train experience has come to an end. Orange Restaurant operates three trips per day on Fridays through Sundays and holidays. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are served according to the schedule. Yeah, I gotta be honest, when I first heard that the journey on the Orange Restaurant takes about four hours, I thought it might be a bit long, but then actually seeing how much they offer, it makes sense. And the food didn't it look lovely. It was very good. And then also the interior. It is so done that the seating kind of gives you the best view no matter where you're sitting. I think that's a clever idea. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing I have to confess here, because um, I did uh, ride the section of the railway, which is now called Hisatsu Orange Railway, uh, when I was young. But um, when I took the ride, all of the trains uh, I took were actually night trains. Oh no, so you didn't get to see the view? Not at all. Oh, what a shame, you got to do it again. Yes, and this time I should take the orange restaurant. Yeah. One thing I found really interesting, in Japan there are many restaurant trains, right? Introducing the food and the local culture. But the orange restaurant is actually one of the pioneers of this type of train. I didn't know that. Hmm. And also impressive is that uh, once uh, this orange restaurant attracted more than 10,000 passengers a year. And that, I think, is a really great record. Mm. Let's hope that he says the Orange Railway will continue to attract passengers and tourists and hopefully that way improve their performance. Mm. I couldn't agree more. Railway Topics on June 10th, Hankai Tramway's Streetcar Festival was held in Osaka Prefecture. This event is held annually to bring the trams closer to people who do not have the opportunity to use them on a daily basis. Ten vehicles, old and new, were displayed at the event, including a tram built in 1928 that is still in service today. 
For the kids, the most fun thing to do was sit in the driver's seat, where they enjoyed taking commemorative photos. There was also a railway parts sale. Here, they sold a variety of used railway items, including signals and signboards. On June 11th, on the JR Kamaishi Line in Iwate Prefecture, SL Ginga, pulled by a C-58 steam locomotive, ran for the last time. To cheer up areas affected by the Great East Japan earthquake that occurred in 2011, JR East started operation of the tourist train SL Ginga in 2014. However, due to the aging passenger cars, the service had to come to an end. Many fans and locals gather at Kamaishi Station to say farewell as the train departs for the last time. SL Ginga sounds its whistle and slowly begins to move out as the gathering crowd watches on. とし